Hey guys, and welcome back to another Your Tech Report video. And today, as promised, we're going hands-on exclusively with the brand new 360L infotainment system with Sirius XM. Welcome back, guys. If you aren't already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button below. It helps us bring you brand new videos like this all the time. And if you want to get notified, you can hit that notification bell and you'll be notified instantaneously when we've got a brand new video to share with you. So let's change the camera angle here and let's take a look at this brand new infotainment system available for now exclusively in the 2019 Dodge Ram. So let's switch gears here for a second. For, for the last couple of years, Sirius XM has been working tirelessly with the automotive manufacturers and different companies, thanks to acquisitions, building this new 360L infotainment system, which is at the heart of this Dodge Ram 1500. 2019 edition. Let's take a look over here at the screen. As you can see right away, you're presented with this 12 inch diagonal touchscreen. That's kind of akin to like the Teslas of the world. One of the things you notice when you're looking at a system like this is that there's still hard buttons on the side, bottom and top. So this is where you have quick access to things like hazard buttons, parking control, your temperature on either side of the vehicle, your fan control, your auto, depending on how you want your climate control, volume, tuning, even a quick mute button if you want to mute everything that's in the vehicle. Plus, you've got some hard buttons at the bottom as well. They may not be able to see in this actual shot here, but we'll talk about the stuff on the screen because that's where this thing does really, really, really quite well. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to actually end this video talking about the actual Sirius XM integration because it really is the most in-depth part of this whole system. So let's take a look at some of the general controls here. You've got obviously your media controls and your Sirius XM here on the bottom here. Uh, you've got regular controls here, which allow you to do things like like heated seats, control the level of heat that you want over there, the heated steering wheel. Uh, you can dim your side mirrors. That's in case people are shining too many lights behind you. You can deploy the step, which helps you get on and off the car. Uh, you can retract that if you want. Um, you've got the backup camera over here. You've got the surround camera, thanks to various cameras around the vehicle. It gives you a full kind of 360 degree angle of the vehicle, so it's great for parking, especially when you're in a vehicle this big. Plus, when you're looking at the angle, you can actually see different camera views, which is really cool. So when you get out of this as well, you'll notice that it's extremely intuitive in terms of controls. On the bottom and your little X on the top right to get out of things, you've got climate control over here as well, so you can set the temperature on either side of the vehicle. You've got dual zone climate control plus heated seats in the back as well. You can control your fan, auto on off, depending on how you want to control that as well. You can control your rear defrost. You've got front defrost on the right side here. You've got your nav on the right side over here. This is a typical navigation unit where you can enter your destination, either by point of interest or by address, and it'll take you there, of course, with turn-by-turn -turn directions. Then you've got your phone integration, of course, your Bluetooth-ready phone. If you have any kind of Android Auto or CarPlay, it actually integrates quite nicely. We'll show you that in just a second over here. Obviously, in the phone mode, you can see your your recent calls, you can see your contacts, you've got the dial pad, you've got a do not disturb button on the top right, which is really neat over here. It allows you to turn your phone on do not disturb and automatically reject calls when they do come in. And there's even an option for auto text replies, so you can program a text message to automatically reply to people who are in there as well. Status on the top, you've got the time in the middle, you've got the temperature outside at the top. Right over here, you've got the phone connection, so it shows you what phone is connected. The signal strength, the battery, whether you're connected by Bluetooth or not. You've got the home button on the top left, which brings you back to the home screen element over here. Uh, and the home screen itself is actually divided into two sections. You've got the top card over here, and you've got your bottom card. The bottom right now is climate control. The top over here says media, comfort, nav, phone, Sirius XM, traveling. So if you go to media over here, it shows you media at the top right, while giving you all the climate control and other things on the bottom, which is really, really neat. Uh, you can select your bottom card over here, for example, navigation, and now you've got the split screen view on your actual device. So this brings us over to CarPlay for a second, because when you plug in your compatible device, so I'll plug in an iPhone over here, which is already paired with CarPlay, it does notify you the first time. So we're going to enter my phone over here. You can see my phone is over here. It's going to detect CarPlay immediately, the little vibration. And there you go, CarPlay is detected. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this phone down. There's actually a wireless charging tray down there, which is really, really cool. So now we've got CarPlay over here. You'll notice the, the phone button changed to a CarPlay button. So when I press CarPlay over here, it only takes up the top half of the screen. So you could still have your comfort control or other things going on on the bottom of the actual screen while you're using CarPlay on the top. So you've got Waze, WhatsApp on your phone or your music, et cetera, et cetera. It's all going to be here so you can instantly listen to your music very, very cool integration. Same thing with Android Auto, obviously. 
Last section over here, you've got the backup camera. This brings us back to the controls view to see the backup camera. Let's dive into the media element of this thing, because really media is where these things shines. Obviously, you can choose your source on the left, far left here. You could choose USB, which I'm plugged into now. You could choose Bluetooth here as well. There's Bluetooth audio. You could choose AM, FM. But when you hit Sirius XM, this is where things take a complete turn when it comes to the way Sirius XM is integrated into a vehicle. Now, it's important to mention that this entire system is connected via 4G LTE. You're getting blazing 4G LTE speeds no matter where you are, and of course, coverage needs to exist. So if you're in a major metropolitan area, you're going to get the full LTE coverage. And if you're out of that, you'll probably get 3G, so your data is going to be a bit slower than what you're used to. But the cool thing here is that the satellite radio used to be one direction. You used to get your content from the satellite, and actually decoding happened locally so you could listen to your music. That's about it. Now, because of this two-way connectivity, we can get way more information. For example, this is Sirius XM Hits 1. So this is one of the most popular channels on the spectrum. You can see the album art. You can see what's on the channel itself. You can actually pause. And this actually buffers everything that's playing from this point forward. So you can resume and even rewind and fast forward in that recorded zone, which is really, really neat and something that's great, especially if your phone rings and you're listening to a great interview, for example, Howard Stern, you can just pause that, take your phone call and continue where you left off. And if you didn't remember something, you can always rewind or even fast forward between segments of that interview, which is really cool. Then you've got this related button. This related button here brings you on-demand access to content that you never would have had in a vehicle before. This is on-demand thanks to obviously the 4G LTE connectivity. If you've viewed the SiriusXM app before, then you know what kind of content you have access to. There are hundreds of extra channels, there's on-demand interviews. If you missed an interview, if you missed a show, you can go and get that on-demand. So right here on the Hits 1, you can see that the Weekend Countdown, you can see the YouTube 50 with Jenna Marbles, Morning Mashup, etc., etc. You can see available shows over there. It shows you a scrolling list of all the shows that are available on this channel specifically. Now, related content shows you things that are related to that channel as well. This gets really cool when you go to channels like Howard Stern, obviously, because you get the same album art and text on the screen. But when you hit that related button, you're going to see all the interviews and all the shows that you may have missed. Look, look, 100 episodes of interviews, Ringo Starr, Hugh Jackman. All the stuff that you would have had to use the app to get access to, now you can get that in your car, which is really, really cool. Another cool feature of this whole system is that when you lose satellite reception, so if you go in a garage, it's going to say, do you want to use streaming for SiriusXM? It'll start streaming the content over 4G LTE seamlessly, and you'll never know that you switched. Let's look at some of the other features within the navigation here and the whole 360L system. You've got your channel forward and your back button down here, so you can easily go between channels. You've got your favorites. These are favorites that you select. Here I have a whole bunch of favorites that are in my top 20 that I listen to. You've got the For You. This allows you to recognize things that you listen to and recommend things based on your listening habits. You've got categories. These are categories on Sirius XM. You can see it's broken down by music, sports, news, talk. Then within those categories, you can choose even more fine-tuned results like NFL, play-by-play, -play, NBA, play-by-play, -play, et cetera, et cetera. Audio gives you control over obviously things like the positioning in your vehicle, EQ, speed adjusted volume, surround sound, et cetera, et cetera. In this vehicle, there's tons of speakers, tons of microphones to help pick up the, the things that are going on in the car. So on the right-hand side here, you've got a couple of options for you. Notify helps you notify you if an artist that you're listening to right now, for example, Imagine Dragons, is on any other channel. It'll actually notify you when you're listening to something else and then go, oh, guess what? Imagine Dragons is on hit one. It's on hits one. So let's tune to that now if you want to do that. It's great if you've got favorite artists or favorite genres, which is really cool. Tune gives you an option to actually tune channels manually. Here you go. Let's go to the hockey channel, for example. Just go and it tunes right to that channel if you know the channel number. Search is a voice search. This is something really new, and thanks to that 4G LTE connectivity, you can do things like Metallica. Metallica. Boom, it shows me all the channels that Metallica might be on. It shows me some interviews that might be going on. Tons of things that might be related to the artist or, you know, works with other things like Anderson Cooper. So you can search host names, it'll return results like CNN or Anderson Cooper specials, which is really, really neat. Again, a great experience while driving because you don't have to touch anything on the screen, which is pretty cool. You can actually have listener profiles. First things it gives you access here is your subscription. You can see what you're subscribed to, how long it lasts, et cetera, et cetera. You've got this profile button over here so I can switch listeners. And right now I have two listener profiles in my car. I've got a car and I've got you. What happens is when you switch the profiles, it remembers everything about you. 
So when you go back, you're going to see things like your favorites at the top are all different. You're going to see the channel you're on is different. You're going to remember everything from that specific profile so that you can easily switch between people in the car. You can have multiple profiles. So if, for example, you and your wife drive the car or even kids that drive the car, they can choose their profile when they come in and you could choose yours. So when you go back to it, your settings are there and you don't have to worry about customizing things or changing things for the other users in the car. Other options here allow you to clear your listener history, listener settings, you can manage system settings, you can get help and support, all thanks to the 360L system. Car profile, you can see right off the bat that all my favorites are right back on the top there, which is really cool. So this is the brand new 360L infotainment system in the Dodge Ram. This is again, the limited editions, a very, very cool system. I hope to see this trickle down into other vehicles, hopefully other vehicles other than maybe even Dodge. But nice to have this, you know, kind of consistency and see this arrive at other manufacturers. So I hope you enjoyed this nice preview of the 360L system available here for now exclusively in the Dodge Ram 1500. Hopefully we'll see this trickle down to other models in Dodge, maybe even other manufacturers, because this really is a very cool experience. And really software has become one of these things that are so well integrated into vehicles and really does help make this car differentiate itself from other vehicles out there. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, give us a thumbs up. Got any questions? Leave us a comment below. We'll be more than happy to chat with you about it. And uh, thanks for watching. We hope you uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified. We'll see you on the next video.